Let me give you a little bit of backstory on this. My grandmother died last year. She was 97 years old. And in among the things that I received after she died was a crib blanket that she made for my dad before he was born. He was born in 1935. <laughs> okay. He's over here. I'm going to show you him in just a second. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here's the crib blanket she made. This is an Alice in Wonderland crib blanket. And I don't know, you know, this may not look like much to you, but this was a needlepoint that she made. And I think it's all very special to me because if you know a little bit about me, you know that I'm a huge fan of uh, Lewis Carroll and I love Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. So when I found this uh, crib blanket, I really wanted to do something special with it. So I decided to make a tapestry holder for it. Okay, so my dad says he's really not into showbiz. <laughs> like my show is really <laughs> showbiz. Uh, but anyways, this is my dad. Hi. <laughs> That's, uh, that is Dan Ramsey and uh, this was his blanket and so he's going to be helping me out in this project and this is really special because we get to use uh, his lathe that he gave me. It's really old lathe. I like to joke that it's an antique lathe. <laughs> he doesn't call it an antique lathe but he'll actually be doing the turning on it so uh, what do you have to say about your lathe? It works. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of few words. <laughs> All right, so here, <laughs> here's what, <laughs> there's my dad. He's peeking over the, <laughs> he's peeking over the edge of it. Oh, okay, so anyways, this is a tapestry holder. Uh, in our case, it's a crib blanket. It's a sheet. But anyways, <laughs> we made this all out of oak. How you doing back there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, Ready so prepare. anyways, here's the, here's the turnings we did on here, and what it does is, let me show you the back side, we've got it uh, clamped together just with a nut, and this holds it together, and well, let me back up, you can, whoa, I'm going to fall over, okay, you gotta, <laughs> so there's the entire tapestry, which, well, now i got to find a place for it in the house. Okay, so here's a, a closer look of what uh, we've done here, is we use the lathe to cut these spindles or uh, finials on the end, and then we've uh, taken some oak, we've split it down the middle, and of course it's clamped together down here just with a nut and a bolt, and that's what holds it together. We've decided to start by making the finials, and this is my turning blank that I'm going to use on the lathe. And what I've done is I've just glued together three pieces of three quarter inch oak and then just squared it all off. So what my dad's doing right now is just roughing out that square piece of wood using one of the chisels. And I should probably mention that this is actually my dad's old lathe. Uh, when, when did you get this lathe? Do you remember <laughs> what year maybe that lathe was from? 1948. 1949. <laughs> but you know, it's really cool. It's an cool. antique like me. <laughs> it's an antique lathe. But it's really fun to use because it's got, you know, we just, I just hook up this motor to it and I clamp it down and, you know, hey, a lathe, what is it? It's just a couple of spindles that turns wood. This one works out really great. It's a lot of fun to use and it's got some history to it too. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. I get to have my dad well, do all of the work. <laughs> Roughing out this wood, it, it's really kind of a pain in the ass, and normally what I would have done is I would have cut these corners off and it would have certainly saved a lot of life on the chisel, <laughs> but in this case, uh, we want to keep this square edge here because, you know, that's what's going to attach to the finial. So he's moved on to a different chisel right now. Uh, it's all roughed out, and so what he's doing is he's actually trying to rough out the actual shape of the finial. And what we've done is over here, we do sort of the shape that we want to do. So he's going to just follow that pattern. Oh, 
Okay, what my dad's doing right now is he's just drawing out a rough template of this piece. And then we're going to cut this out and use it on that side. What do you think about your template? Time for a beer. <laughs> Okay, so that pattern we cut out, now he's just using that to just kind of see how it's all going to fit together. Still has a little bit of work to do, he's on it. Alright, so here are my finials, and what I've done is I've cut them down a little bit shorter here and I just ran it through my router with a three-quarter inch bit like this so I've got this shape in there then what I've done is I've taken a three-quarter inch uh, piece of oak and this is you know a really long one and I just rounded over each side of that so where it will fit let me show you how this is gonna go down in there you know something like that so this will be the front of the holder and then on the back side I'll just stick a, another one here. Here's what I've done is I've drilled a hole into this curved piece and I've stuck a screw into that. Okay so now that's going to fit down in like so. Now this second piece I've cut a little notch out put a hole in that it will fit down onto that screw and then I've got a nut that I can, you know, tighten it down so that I can remove the tapestry whenever I need to and I think it's gonna work. Uh, I forgot to mention I found some little beads that I put on to the end just to dress it up a little bit. So, you know, the nuts will hold it together in there, the tapestry will go in between and I'm gonna spray some lacquer on it and be done with it. You know, maybe if uh, you have a tapestry or something you want to hang, you might want to look at this system of clamping it all together. We have put several coats of spray lacquer on the entire piece and it is done. So I want to thank my dad. <laughs> He's out here drinking a beer. And what, uh, what, do you have anything extra special that you'd like to say about this job or now that we're done with it? and? The job was a lot of fun, and it's time for a single bolt. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming from a true Scotsman, all right? Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, visit me at my website, Woodworking for Mere Mortals, where you get, uh, you know, all sorts of this kind of <laughs> woodworking stuff and beer. Well, and single malt. <laughs> Bye.